Should be live. What's going on, guys? We should be live. Let me get this shared out here quick. Let the notifications kick in and get that shared out. Boomer, what's going on, man? How you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing, brother? Good to see you first in here. Appreciate you popping in. Jamie, what's going on? Zach, Zach, I just downloaded it through the other thing. I should be able to, I believe it's going to work. I should be able to upload it now from there. So I'll talk about that here at the beginning once people get in here. What's up, Sterling? It was good, man. It was really good. Long drive, though. Just I'm wore out. In fact, I took a little nap. I turned on RSR's auction. And as I had my phone, you know, laying in bed with the phone watching, and then I fell asleep and got a good little nap. And I'm sure I'll probably go to bed at a decent time again tonight. It won't be up too late. Bobby, what's going on, brother? Burly man, Goody, Goody G, what's going on? Mason Sports Talk, what's going on? Cyclone, Sports Kids, Lynch Car Breaks and Sales, better than one other day getting it. Well, that's good, man. You know, one day at a time, right? Regardless of what it is you're doing, going through, you know, focus on the now, focus on what's coming ahead. Don't dwell as much on the on the past just keep moving forward breeze what's going on supers in the house my man good to see ya derby city collector appreciate it man it's good to be home as much as it's good to be home you know i love being away but you know every all good things got to come to an end right it's kind of how it always goes it's kind of how it always works so i told you guys i think yesterday um I picked up some stuff at the Walmart out there. They actually had some some product. So I'm just going to do a random rips here. I got a Unparalleled Fat Pack 2019 football. I got a Gypsy Queen Rack Pack. I got four of these Donruss Fat Packs. And then, shout out to UFC last night. And shout out to my man Justin Gaethy for taking it home like I said he would. Uh, we got a little blaster, 2019 Topps Chrome UFC blaster, just something different. Because, um, again, I don't know about you guys. You go in any Walmarts around here, there's nothing. The shelves are empty. They don't have any product. I'm sure that's because they weren't shipping stuff out, so even the vendors for that probably weren't getting it. <clears throat> but now with things starting to come back to life, hopefully uh, that'll change. What's going on? It's Casey. What's going on, Kevin Kirk? rsr appreciate the raid brother great auction as always again i was in there and then i passed out for a while i had to take a nap i was just so tired alex b jaybird crazy for cardboard what's going on everybody's doing well um like i said today's just gonna be a little catch-up stream with you guys do a little rip um i don't know so here's what's gonna happen tomorrow um it's possible because I'm supposed to do Buck City breaks, <clears throat> but I actually DM them to see if they want to change because they can't do an evening stream for the in-depth. So the original plan for tomorrow with them was do it at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, kind of oddball, which is kind of in the middle of my work. So it's not really the most convenient. But uh, I asked him if like either a Wednesday or Thursday night would work better where we could do it at a regular 6 o'clock time. So <clears throat> I think uh, my man Dent, Mr. Friday 13th, if BCB does want to switch and, and have their in-depth like on a Wednesday or Thursday so we can fit it in a proper time for them instead of in the middle of the afternoon, I think that's what we'll do. Um, but I'll wait to hear back from Buck City Breaks. So, good possibility. Uh, good possibility of having kind of like two in depths in a week, just because I'm trying to work around Buck City Break schedule. Because on Mondays, they're 
they're sorting and I don't know. It's just how their schedule is. Like they're not there late typically on Mondays. So trying to make it work and trying to make it fit in uh for them. What's going on, Gate City Picker? How you doing, brother? Hope all is well. Uh yeah, guys, don't please don't come in the chat spamming sub for sub. Uh best thing to do is just be active. Go to other people's channels if you want and but you're going to get better engagement. You're going to get better growth if you're actually engaged in chat, just chatting and getting to know people. And then people will probably sub you as you sub them. Uh, and that way you can get to know them a little better. That's the best way to go about doing that. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to have good growth. And growth where people are actually going to show up and watch your streams. Um, you know, people can have 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> And they can get 10 views live with 10K. That's not very good. That's uh, that's not what you want. You know, you want to be able to have some type of, some type of actual support where people actually view you and watch you. They're not just, they don't just hit a red button and that's it. So, just my own thought on that. Um, <clears throat> just throwing it out there. So I did get a mail day from RSR. Uh, I did open it, but I got it all together here. Man, uh, they just sent all this stuff. I mean, this was just from them, as always, before I get to ripping. Love you, buddy. We appreciate all that you are, RSR. They did get, looks like, new business cards, which is pretty sweet. I like them. They actually, they do the family thing there. They got the, I think they had it on the other one, too. But I just, I don't know. I like the looks of these. These are very, very clean. Um, I did get bumper stickers ordered last week, hoping they'll be here soon. So a lot of you will probably get one in your package as I get everything finished up this week, sorted and shipped out. But uh, I threw in a little uh, Red Sox reunion. Then they hit me up with a bunch of Mo Vons to add to the Mo Vaughn, uh Super PC. I have to get a Mo Vaughn count here one of these days. Move on, move on, my lawn. There he is. Bunch of rookies in here, too. Sent me four of the Fleer Ultra rookie. Nice 96 Fleer. Got a score. Then they threw a Justin Jefferson. Shout out my Vikes. And they threw in this beautiful... Madison Relic 2 to 299. So I appreciate you guys as always. Some of you, a lot of you guys already just came from there, so you know who they are. If for some reason you weren't there today, as I went live, make sure you check them out. Make sure you show them some love. And then I have been dipping into <clears throat> um, breaks just here and there with Syndicate Syndicate Sports Cards. He's on Twitter. Uh, we got random teams. I got Packers and uh, Raiders, it looks like. And a little football mixer. But I get this Devontae Adams, the 299. This Favre, 34-35. Uh, Darius Shepard, Optic Contenders, rookie. A Leland Farrell Auto. And a Josh Jacobs, Optic rookie. So... Some Raiders for the man Jimmy. Um, I did. I'm. I have been. And a couple other things too, guys. You find in Prism? I can't anywhere. Ah, uh, no. I haven't found any Prism at all anywhere. So I did. I've been ordering up and buying. I did some tweets and some posts about getting some lots, relics, autos, parallels, just to kind of really stack up and stock up for Tuesday nights. Um, Dent, Dent hit me up. He gave me one heck of a deal. Uh, I don't know. I think he said it's like four or five pounds worth of a box where the relics, autos, and parallels come in that I bought from him. And I bought another little lot from someone else. A couple other people I have that are putting some stuff together for me, but they were out of town or had things going on. So just be on the lookout for that. Airtime, not a problem, man. Congrats on the 50th trivia episode. That is awesome, man. I can't wait to see 100, episode 100. So keep doing it. Keep killing it. 
Uh, you're getting there. It's my pleasure, brother. It's it's uh, you're more than deserving of having some good things and some people behind you. Shout out to uh, who was it? Dent and RSR as well. They each, I guess, were throwing in twenty five. I think on top of my fifty. So shout out to you guys. I got his info. I will get that sent over here when I get probably dump my stream. Um, and uh, yeah, so congrats to the winner. Congrats to everybody that won. I apologize. I wasn't a part of it again had to get going and had a long drive and yeah just uh one of those things jeff was awesome this morning yeah i'm sure it was awesome i think he told me it was he was close to 70 i think 70 viewers like that's just awesome we'll have him soon at 100 live viewers no problem every other sunday doing his thing I threw my grandpa's old stuff today with my grandma. Would have been his 87th birthday. I found his old Bob Gibson rookie and signed baseball. Crazy to think he's... Wow, that's awesome, Brady. I mean, it's not obviously awesome that he's gone, but it's cool that, again, it's cool that you can go through this, some of that stuff. You can look at some of that stuff. Um, you know, you can bring back some connection memories, like with your, you know, with your grandma, even. So, so... That's uh that's cool. I'm sure she has some cool stories. I'm sure she has some things that uh you know, like as you're going through things, she she probably remembers even maybe when he got this or that or that's what's awesome, man, guys. And that's what I always say, like personally is don't hold back on doing things and making memories with loved ones, friends, family because at the end of the day, that's that's what's worth the most to us, right? It's not the materialistic things. It's not the, it's not the cards. It's not any of that. It's it's the actual memories you make, and <clears throat> the stuff you can share with your kids, with your grandkids when that time comes, with whoever it might be. So, what's your fitted hat size or flex size? I'm a seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter is my hat size. Seven and one quarter. I'm going to go shave. This is getting annoying on my neck. Josh Jacobs. What's up, Fox Bama? Uh, for sure. Couldn't buy, couldn't buy it off me. Yeah. Hey, airtime. Deafness, do you have a hat for every team? I do not have a hat for every team, no. In fact, I wore this a lot of times. If I had a hat for every team, I probably wouldn't. You probably wouldn't ever see me wear almost the same hat. But I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, all right, all right, sports kids. Uh, shout out to Zach. I'm hoping. What's up, Zach? I'm, I'm hoping that this works. He sent me the revised file of the 24 hour stream highlight. Uh, he sent it last night. I had an issue with the file file format with me being able to download it or open it, or once it was downloaded, it play. Uh, he sent it another way. I think it's gonna work. So this highlights will probably either be uploaded tonight or tomorrow at some point um it's like 20 minutes long roughly uh but you know zach did it it's uh i appreciate him for all his hard work i mean going through 24 hours straight of film you know trying to bring in some highlights and in spots you know he tried to hit most of the giveaways and kind of who the winners were and 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 whatnot so shout out to zach's sports cards uh, used to be a used to be Zachary Hall on YouTube. Now it's Zach Sports Cards for doing that. So yeah, again, it's always awesome to see RSR and them uh, sitting with you know thirty, forty. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what their peak was. Maybe they got into the fifties today or so. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it if someone said that while I was when I passed out during when I was in there. But again, it's always a breath of fresh air to see. To see people in our community, I, I've touched on it before, but just kind of get to that that point now where, you know, they have a good they have a good community build amongst themselves when they're live. They have a lot of people that support them, which people should because they're great people, and uh, it's just nice to see that. So bitg, I don't know, he'll be live probably soon here. So. I'm just kind of getting caught up with you guys, just saying what's up. Um, yesterday's stream I know wasn't the greatest. It was out at Canal Park. It was super cold. I think I was live for like 23 minutes, 25 minutes. It just, you know, I just, I don't know. 
it was cold and it was uh yeah so we're gonna start with the football i got a one i got one football here so i got a fat pack of pack of unparalleled uh, hey what can't wait to see the yeah, Jair time, you made the highlights. Uh, I mean, everybody that got on live with me, I think, like, was, made it or was on. So we got Aaron Rodgers. See if we can get anything. Cam Newton. Anthony Miller. We got Terrell Suggs. Blake Jarwin, rookie. Goff. My man, Chad Beebe. William Galston, Aaron Donald in a moment, Rod, Rodney Anderson, Emmanuel Butler, oh, that's a nice one, Sunburst, Sunburst, Michael Thomas, that, that's cool looking, what, it, what part of on it? Hope the Uber driver made the go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, he did. It's a lot of. I mean, obviously, he's not going to be able to go through the whole thing going back unless he spends like weeks and days on it. But it's it's good. Good. I like it. I like it. Arby Jones, Roethlisberger. So nothing too crazy, guys. We got a nice little sunburst. Uh, Little sunburst Michael Thomas. It's not a bad little little card. So it's of Gypsy Queen. I just mainly highlighted the breaks of the guests, the giveaways. Yep. Yep. And he did the like my closing message or my talk at the end he added. Um that was kind of what I had him add gonna do those last because he kind of put like the end end like the last minute or so if that but i wanted a little bit more added so i felt like it was important so it's like it's kind of crazy because it's like 10 minutes or so like of like highlight highlights and then it's you know and then it's uh kind of my message at the end for about another 10 minutes so it's like 20 minutes long but, you know, like almost 10 of it is kind of that, my message at the end, I guess, what you'd say. Next 24-hour stream, if you let me edit it better, a little, I don't No, you're good, man. I'm not complaining. I thought you did great, man. I thought you did great. Rizzo. Rosario, I mean, again. Rosario, we got a Austin Meadows Mini. Hostadillo, PC, Correa. I think he did great, brother. It's all good, man. So, again, tomorrow night is supposed to be... Uh... Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, I would either went on before, earlier in the afternoon before you guys went on, which obviously wouldn't have worked out unless I did another car drive stream, and that would have probably interfered with... Uh... My man, airtime and it's trivia too, so I have no problems. I got a nice little nap in. You got to do your thing. I have no issues, man. Sundays are really not you know, we got the Sunday shout outs. What I'm gonna bring which I'm gonna bring back next next Sunday. I just me being gone and just getting back, Reyes uh Anthony K Green. So uh, but we will def uh, def get back to the Sunday night uh, Sunday shout outs probably next Sunday again tomorrow I don't know how it's if if BCB does not want to if they want to push it back to later this week we may have two in depth with deafnesses tomorrow if they can't go Dent is going to go so there will be an in depth regardless it'll be our man Mister Friday the Thirteenth Dent. Austin, Guido, Ramirez, Brantley, 
Sanchez, Renfro, Soler, Machado, Gonzalez, Mancini, Acuna, Polar Bear. How many times do we see that nickname on the Donruss? As in Diaz. Yasemin. Uh, hey, there we go. Little Roe Bear action, huh? Logan Webb, Josh Bell, Eloy, nice Bellinger. Nice little Bellinger. The stars. Uh, Villar. We got a nice Soto. Diamond King. Foil. Trevor Story. Shout out RSR and uh, Dell and them. We got a now playing. Keston. Herrera. Seiko. Fernandez. Winfield. Collins. And Walton. Not a bad pack at all, guys. So... Not a bad pack at all. Nice. I've been asking them to put out some new kind. Yeah, right? I know. Well, this might be his time doing it on my channel. But he definitely wants to be on in depth. So I told him, you know, depending upon what the what the plan is with uh Buck City Breaks. I think he'll more than likely be going on tomorrow night and then we'll we'll have BCB either um they would either come on probably wednesday or thursday but we're gonna see not sure which one there's a tatis nickname el nino aquino the devers diamond kings lindor nickname akita dunn little belly ryan reynolds we got a abreg foil hey nice clemens it's clemens Oil. We got another Tatis now playing. It's nice. These have been pretty decent so far. These fat packs. Puckett, PC, Gooden, Munoz, Bradley, and Toro. Not too shabby, guys. What's up, Pittsburgh? How you doing, man? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. It was packed today. I thought I was going to be shut out. Oh, packed in the for the trivia. Arenado, Polanco, Confrado, Jimenez, Rua, Blatty. Again, it'll be the members break. We'll be probably coming up here this week. Depends on when the product gets here. Because I have the one box, but that's not enough because we have like 58 members. So we have to do split it into two boxes or two breaks. Half in one and half in the other. Certainly Marte, the Pike, nickname. Dylan Cease, Aaron Judge, we got a Cody Love nickname, Donruss, Arian Morjan, Mancini, Flavorhood, nice, Odell to $9.99. There we go, little Joe Odell, rated prospect. Have to say, what's up, Dent? I was just telling them that you might be uh you might be filling in tomorrow night. If BCB already messaged them, if they don't want it, if they want to push it to Wednesday or Thursday, we'll just do two in depths this week. Get you in. Nice Kevion foil, Yelly foil, Soto foil, Mookie Betts Elite Series. These bat packs have been awesome. Brett, Lotto, Rios, Mitchell, and good old Ricky. More fat pack. What's up, Chase? Oh, and how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. I I saw um I saw RSR talking about you guys in the auction. Welcome aboard. Welcome over to my stream. RSR, they're great people. I heard that you uh they sent you some stuff and you actually ended up sending stuff back, which wasn't expected, but it's very awesome to do. So shout out to you for being uh for being younger, you know. That's uh, it's pretty awesome. Donaldson, which now be PC because he's a twin. Elman, Lorano, Mondesi, Paddock, Barreos. He's anyway turned around. Damn, I can't wait. Yeah, so I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember we talked about that. So if they can't, I I was gonna get get a hold of you as soon as I hear from them. We got an Acuna nickname, El de la Sabana. Guys, 
Alonzo, Man of Steel, the nickname Henderson, Judge, Sandoval. Uh, we got Clayton Kershaw, Red Foil, Marcio Dubon, Syndergaard, Rated Prospect, Forrest Whitley, Houston, Davis, Rogers, Boggs, Carter, or our Steve Carter's kids. He's going for, what, 30,000, 25,000 Carters. Let's get him there. Let's do it. That's another one to go to his stack. Love it. Went all out on Friday on my new PC. Bought Top Series 1 SP. Nice. That's awesome, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So, Dent, maybe if you want to do me a favor, um, if you want to kind of put some bullet points together for things you want me to cover or go over, you know, I'll I'll figure out the questions and everything, but if you want to give me some bullet points and what things you want to go over and what you want to discuss. Now we're going to do some UFC 2019 Tops Chrome. A little diff, something a little different. Those fans out there that like UFC or like uh, something besides just football, baseball, basketball. You know, I'm a UFC fan myself, so... Yeah, Dent, if you want to just kind of email me um, some bullet points, I guess. 3,000, just one player. Yeah, well, that's what he's going for. Yeah, I think he's at like, I think he said he was at like 25 or something. As I said, let's get him to like 100,000 or a million or whatever. I didn't know what his, what his, where he was at. but So we got a uh, John Jones. This is cool. Number to 99, Daniel Cormier, the big boy. That's a fire 99. That's a cool card. Daniel Cormier, it's like a tops fire, but it's chrome. He's sick. Been some decent products so far, guys. Like just kind of random retail stuff I picked up at that Walmart. Another Cormier and uh, Alexander. What's up, Frank B. Ribbon? The only bummer for me is I prolonged. Uh oh. You prolonged your job. All right. Joanna. A good fighter. Rose. Look at that. Refractor Connor McGregor. Not that I'm a big fan of his, but a lot of people are. Nice refractor. You have to say that uh, stuff has not been all that bad, huh? Little blaster action. Refractor. Pretty sweet, man. So yeah, look for the as long as the download works properly on that twenty four hour that Zach Sports Cards did for the twenty four hour stream. Look for that to be uploaded tonight or tomorrow, and then again tomorrow night is it or tomorrow afternoon there might be an in depth at like two in the afternoon. But Mondays are always so busy for me during the daytime. I'd rather if they can do it and they want to do it like Wednesday or Thursday night, which if it'll work better for them, I think we just do that. So our chrome refractor is going to be a uh, insert. And it's Asklin. Askren. What that Connor? Yeah, I think the Connor should be something. Refractor, I mean base. Not probably not anything crazy, right? It's not like his auto or anything or relic, but it's still a refractor card. AC Nation is doing a killer 400 brace by 50 cent. KC Nation's got some big 400 card sale thing going on. Make sure you guys check it out. Kevin dropped the link. Jimmy Rivera. James Vic. Peter Yan. 
Nico Price. Not much in that pack. What's up, William? Carter, how you doing, brother? So again, guys, anything else that hasn't shipped yet? Dillashaw Chrome or a Refractor? That's not a Refractor. That's a Dillashaw. Dillashaw, Dillashaw. Yeah, how many of you guys watched the fights last night? My boy Gaethy did it. So ready for prison baseball. Oh yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm I'm just ready to all this new product, you know, dropping and actually coming out again, you know, then putting a hold to it. It's like, is there ever gonna be new product? Are they ever gonna give us new product? You know, after they shut it down. So our checkerboard whatever is Alec Alexander Volkov. Volkov. However you pronounce it. Oh. We got Maria. And we got another TJ, just regular. It was great pay-per-view. Great, great pay-per-view. That uh, Cerrone Pettis fight was even great. I honestly thought Cerrone won. He had the takedowns, but it's usually how it goes. They don't. Uh, Banks, McKenzie, throwing cards. We got a uh, John Jones 84 style. This guy just can't stay out of trouble, though, can he? Save his life. This guy can't stay out of trouble. Mr. John Jones. Too bad. Too, too, too bad. Really is. EJ, what's going on, brother? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Tomorrow after the interview, sorting, getting all the breaks, like, sorted. Once I have the breaks, though, sorted, everything's going to go fast. Because all your guys' other stuff is sorted. I just got to add it to it and then package and stuff. So we got a Rafael Del Dos Anjos. Hernandez, Devin Smith, and we got a Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee. I don't know what are these, like the special sepia ones, I guess, what you would call this, right? So. What's up, Dante? How you been, man? How did that break go, brother? Do you have broken teeth relics? I don't know, man. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? Broken teeth. Broken teeth relics for uh that'd be insane. That'd be absolutely insane. So that box was actually not bad. For that we got this crazy fire Cormier to ninety nine wave. Dillashaw, the insert, Askren, we got a Connor Refractor. Lee and Bones Jones. So shabby. And we got a bunch of decent stuff. We got that Odell out of those fat packs. That's numbered to $9.99. Got a lot of other cool little insert stuff and whatnot. So we got a Robert. Hit the Robert too, right? Yep. Hit a Robert in the Robert Robert, however you want to say it. Whatever you call it. Oh. What else is going on, guys? Anything else? Times BITG going live. Oh, then we hit the unparalleled fat pack. We hit this. Sunburst. Sunburst down there. You always see, if you guys are not familiar with these unparalleled cards, they have different impacts you can get like one or two different ones they have all sorts of different ones some are numbered as well but it's a parallel or a shorter print it's got a different background so that's like what they call the sunburst background some have all crazy stars like little stars in there really cool product the only thing i'm not a fan of with unparalleled is that they put a lot of rookies like late late draft round rookies in there so you get a like a lot of times when you open that product, you open the packs, you get a lot of guys that you don't even know 
never even heard of. Some of the guys maybe not even be in the league, you know, from last year that were drafted or whatever. Um, so it is it is a bit interesting to say the least, but uh, nonetheless, still fun. It's still a fun rip. I mean, that was all just stuff. I can't, like I said, on that up there, you can't. You go into uh, you go into my uh, Walmart's or anywhere around here. There's just not product, nothing stocked. But I did. Are are your guys's uh, LCSs doing curbside now, where you can order stuff and pick it up? That's gonna be nice. So I'm gonna be able to go to like, be able to go through three stars where they have tons of products. They always do on hand and curbside so like fridays i could do a put a curbside curbside order in and uh so shout out remember who someone sent me this now i got so i need and somebody's sending me i believe the f was sending me an f this for this other way so i think i'm gonna spell this two ways they got the spell bonds that go this way. So I'm going to do the deafness this way. And then I got this. Let's see. So we got the D, E. We're missing the F, N, E, S, S. We got an F coming that's this way. But then I'm like, well, that's going to be weird with all the rest of these like this. Like that's that way because they do them two ways. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell it both ways. But if anybody has one of these, that's a letter F, like the standing up way, vertical, let me know. Then I'll have it spelled out. So what's up, sweaty? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. You get any? I did not get any. You know, no, I'll show you what I got, brother. I mean, anything that was... It was actually not bad. Got a Cormier to 99. Like a Fire Chrome Cormier. Dillashaw. Askren. We got a McGregor Refractor. That was cool. Kevin Lee, black and white. And a Jones 84 style deal. So, but nothing. We got uh, Smith... Hernandez, Los Anjos, uh, Dern, Eberks, Willis, Dillashaw, Regular, Verrea, Dos Anjos, Dos Santos, Balufa, Bagadababov, Price, Jan, Vic, Riviera, Ostovich, Ferreira, Ranuda, Anna Schroff, uh, Rose, Joanna, Cormier, regular Jones. That guys, that was it. Everyone needs top loaders. Yeah, I know. I uh, the only reason I got top loaders like before the twenty four hour stream was because I went to uh, my other LCS was kind of open to curbside or whatever, and he. He had a ton of top loaders, so I just bought like 500 of them while I was there. Um, and that was right before, I think that was the week before the 24 hour stream. So I got all hooked up, got ready, we're rolling. That was my favorite of the night. Agree. Cowboy was the winner, I thought. But oh well. Yeah, I mean, and that's just it, man. It's uh, that's why they always say don't leave it to the judges, right? But those are two guys that are very hard to get finished either way. Um, you know, so I didn't expect to see a finish, you know, I just, I didn't expect to see it. I didn't think either one of them would get knocked out. They're just not the type of guys that get knocked out. They both landed some punches that probably would have knocked out maybe four or five out of 10 people, uh, if it would have been somebody else standing across from when they hit them. So it just shows you how tough and how strong they're, they are and how, how strong their chin is. So. Amio, what's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Thank you for just stopping in, popping in. Appreciate it, man. So, so again, guys, kind of the plan for the week. Just to give you a heads up. So, uh, BITG will be live here shortly. Uh, I'm sure tomorrow, 
I'm waiting to hear from Buck City Breaks. I messaged them because the original plan was to interview them tomorrow. The problem is if we interview them tomorrow, it's going to be like a really weird time stream. It's going to be like two in the afternoon because they're not going to, they don't stay there late. So on Mondays, they're out there sorting or doing whatever. Um, so I asked them if they would rather want to do it like Wednesday or Thursday this week. You know, we just don't do it thir thirsty Thursdays or whatever. Wednesday's kind of open, right? Always for me during the week. That's kind of an open day just to do whatever. We kind of freestyle it. There's no set schedule on what we do. So they're going to get back to me. If they do get back to me and they say, yes, let's push it to Wednesday or Thursday, at, you know, that would be at a 6 o'clock stream or whatever. Then Dent, Mr. Friday 13th, already said he was because he, he wants to get, he wants to do the in-depth. So I already told him that he could fill that hole. If not, otherwise we'll schedule him later. But I have a good, I have a good feeling that that's probably what's going to happen is it'll probably be Dent tomorrow. And then we'll do Buck City breaks like around probably Wednesday or Thursday um, or whenever we can make it work for them. So, um, and then at Tuesday, we will be back with auction card sales as normal. Wednesday will be, depending upon it, what we do with in-depth. Thursday, if Thursday's open, we'll do our Thursday Thursdays. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do or where we're going to go this weekend. Hopefully the weather's going to get better because it has been cold here, like 40 degrees. My parents live up north, and they had snow on the ground. They had like a little bit of snow on the ground when she woke up this morning, my mom said. So, yeah, I know. They don't They don't ever want to give out notifications. That's why I just I try to share it if I can, if I'm not mobile. If I'm on my mobile phone streaming like IRL, it's not really an easy way for me to share it from my phone. But if I'm on my computer, easily. Again, guys, 24-hour stream highlights. Zach Sports Cards used to be Zachary Hall. Took the time to do it. Um, you know, it's, he just likes doing it, you know. So it's it's pretty good. You know, there might have been some things that might have been missed in it. Um, but for him taking the time to go through and just kind of put something together, I, I appreciate it. I really do. So I'll get that uploaded as long as it will work because we've been having issues with the file formats and them being able to be able to view and download properly and this and that. So, yeah, there you go, Jim. Jim and Balls, you guys are both in the corner together. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good, man. It's not no problem, man. I appreciate you guys popping in, stopping in. Sundays are just kind of whatever. Um, we didn't. We actually ripped a bunch of retail stuff. We didn't have such bad luck. Uh, so we got this out of a unparalleled fat pack, Sunburst. We got Robert out of a fat pack, Donneras. We got Odell to 99, Joe Odell. We got a Cormier to 99 out of a Topps Chrome Blaster from Walmart. Dillashaw, Askren. We got a Connor McGregor Refractor out of that blaster. Kevin Lee. And we just got a bunch of, well, the Gary Carter, you know, that's going to get sleeved up and go to our boy Carters. Whitley, Dubon, Judge, Deal, Lonzo, Tyus, Nickname, Acuna, Delich, Gisham, Soto, Donaldson for PC. Uh, he's a twin. Elite, Red, Soto, Yelly, Gavion, Cody Love, Nickname, Laddie, Pucky PC. Atis, Clemens Red, Abreg nickname, Bellinger, Devers, Aquino, Atis nickname, Alonzo, Keston, Soto, Villar Red, Stars, Belly, Polar Bear nickname, some PC, and a Chad, BB. So, wasn't the worst little, little retail mix mash pack rip so def you should get ben on it yeah oh definitely ben from midwest will uh i mean really i can do it whatever with him i know that mondays are going to be tough for him too because i think he's usually breaking monday nights but again i'll i'll fluctuate and make things work for people like i said like what we might have to do with bcb but yeah he'll definitely get he'll definitely get uh interviewed 
And again, I guess the 23rd is when my interview drops as of right now, when the interview that I, I was on for the Sports Card Nation podcast. So again, when I get that link, I will let you guys know when it's edited and ready to watch or ready to listen. I guess ready to listen to. It's not a it's a podcast, so it's like a there's no it's not live like a video. So and then he's John from there is going to be on in depth on June first. So that should be interesting. That should be cool. Pretty exciting. So but uh anyway. Yeah. You guys got anything else from me? Everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope everybody wished their mother and anyone in their their the mother of their childrens and anyone else wish them a happy Mother's Day today. Got them something or spent some time with them or whatever. So I think I'm gonna order some pizza and I'm just gonna veg out, watch B I T G, lay in bed and relax. Spend some time with Zozo. We did get some new uh, uh, emoji stickers as well. The chat remembers. So I did add some. I know I saw somebody playing playing with them in the chat. I think yesterday when I was live. I did them Friday. Before I left, I added them. So... Just recorded an entire 10 minute video and accidentally recorded with slow mo. Oh no. That's not good, Zach. But yes, Chase, I would love to have Ben on. Ben will definitely be on. He's uh he's somebody I I definitely feel and again, I'll get people on. Like I'll do other breakers or other hobbyist people that I don't even know. Like if they're ever interested, like if let's say, you know, we get we get a wide variety of people in here, right? Tuesday nights we get seventy, a hundred people in live sometimes. We had during the twenty four hour stream. People who watch different days, they pop in. This goes for anybody. If you would like to see somebody on in depth, and I don't ever talk about them because I just don't know about them, I just haven't really been with them, whatever. Reach out to me. Let me know, or reach and reach out to them and say, "Hey, do you think you'd be interested to to be interviewed?" You know, if they're part of the hobby, uh, they have like a crazy story, addiction in their past, something. They have a message they want to. They're trying to get by to people or help people out. Whatever it is, just reach out to me, and I'll definitely. Ah, uh, it was good, man. It was really, really good. It seemed to go super fast, and I'm like just wore out now man it's like go 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 and then it's like long drive and it just wears you out but it was good it was definitely a good time very very good good time oh oh you're good man not a problem but yeah if you guys at all like i said if you know of anybody that you think you would that would be good or you think they would it would be fun to have them interviewed where they'd have a it'd be a good hour's worth of content i could do uh just let me know so we'll definitely try to get them on so again tomorrow's still kind of up in the air as far as who's going to be on in depth if it is bcb it'll be at like two in the afternoon which is going to be weird which i'm trying not to do because it's a monday for me and work um if not then we'll move them to probably wednesday or thursday whatever works for them and that would be a regular time like six o'clock my time somewhere around there and then if that is the case then tomorrow dent mr friday the 13th would fill in and be interviewed at six so i mean i don't know if he would do it you know he's probably some i mean I'm just taking a guess. He's probably somebody that would probably, like, if you wanted him on, I would probably have to, like, pay him. And I don't know that, I mean, I don't know that personally. Like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> what kind of money am I making to pay somebody to, and I'm sure it's not just $20 or 40 bucks. I'm sure it's an hour worth of his time. He probably charges, I don't know, $1,000 or something. So, I mean, if if you'd want to do it and you'd be that type of person that would do it for free, 
Hell yeah, we'd love to have him on. Love to do it. But he's got his own platform with way more following because he's an ex baseball player and whatnot that I don't know that you know he could do he could have something done like that himself through his own and and do it. But well, we can see. Never know. Somebody uh somebody knows any of these people and have a bit closer connection and you feel like they're the type that would actually do it and just do it and not be like, you know, well here's a bill. Here's a bill to be a guest on on the show. Oh. Because, I mean, for some people, time is money, right? Or people won't just do interviews for free. Uh, they call that featuring. It's just like in music. Artists won't necessarily collab with someone else. It's usually never free. It's usually they get paid twenty, forty, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 to be featured on someone else's song if they want them on there. So, I do a one on one whenever. All right. Well, yeah, Frank, definitely, man. We could uh, down the road here. I am. I'm basically booked until June. Is it the after the week of June? The first week in June, I have booked. Let's see. So I have dub mentality. Dumb mentality is not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. He writes for Beckett. If a lot of you guys are on Twitter, you know who he is. He's been around the card game for a long time. That's going to be a very good interview. He writes for Beckett. Um, I got on Memorial Day, I will be doing one as well. That's Monday the 25th. I'm doing classic pack breaks on then. That's when I'll do them. And then Sports Card Nation is that following Monday after that. So tomorrow would either be BCB in the afternoon or tomorrow will be Dent, Mr. Friday the 13th. And then BCB, hopefully, we'd have two in one week. So we'd do BCB like either Wednesday or Thursday. So what's bullcrap, Jamie? I'm not a star. No, you don't have to be a star, dude. I don't... That's not that's not what this in depth's about. This in depth is about anybody who's a part of the hobby in general. You're a part of the hobby. Like you do stuff for the hobby, you're part of the hobby. Uh, or you have some kind of crazy cool story and you're trying to send a message, whether it's addiction, fighting depression, addiction, or any anything that that relates to my channel surroundings. People that adapt or relate in some form or way. That's who I'm trying to bring on here. You don't have to be a big name. You don't have to be a star. Now, what's up, Bash? How you doing, buddy? Just like you don't ever have to buy anything on my channel to hang out. We just like to have you here. You know, we like to see you. We like to have you interact and say what's up in chat and get to know people and just have a place for you to go and get away for a while and and hopefully it's all positive for you. So. Yeah, for sure, Frank. Frank, jump on a Thursday Thursday. Yeah, and that's the thing too, guys. That's what you guys, I think, forget as well. That's why I started doing that Thursday Thursday as well stream, giving another opportunity for people to come on um, and just chat and kind of talk and introduce yourself and who you are if, or even if they already know you and just kind of talk a little more, put a name to a face. So um it was good man real good i'm just really tired i'm gonna order some pizza and just hang out and get ready for bitg here shortly no i wouldn't that's that's what i'm saying jamie like but i think he probably would i i think that's pro and I, i'm okay so again this is not a shot at anybody like that this is just because he's a an ex pro player he's a bigger name um a lot of people like that, unless it's a company that can do more for them, like, so let's say they're on a lower spectrum. They're a name, but they're not a big name. And then they have somebody who has like millions and millions of following, right? And then that person wants to interview them. Well, it'd be smart for them to do that interview because they're now getting their name out to those millions and millions of people that they do. But like for someone like me, who's only got a couple thousand subscriber followers, right? And he's got, I don't know, what, 40,000 subscribers on his thing where he does the break in his channel. He's an ex-ball player. 
I don't know that he would do an in-depth interview with somebody like me without me without having to charge me to do it. That's what I'm getting at. So that's all I mean. What's up, Mellow Out? How you doing, man? Sherbert Punch sounds good right about now. Sherbert Punch? Yeah. Sherbert Punch. Interesting. You need to get BITG. Yeah, if, you know, he knows he can go anytime, man. He knows he can go anytime, but I don't know when he's going to want to do it. That's 100% up to him. So. Yeah, so Frank, Thursday. So, like, when I put in the. Like, when it gets to be Wednesday or Thursday morning, and I put in Twitter or I put on the community tab. Hey, it's another Thursday. We're back with Thursday Thursdays. Anybody who wants to join in, just let me know. Like, we're easy, basically comment and say, hey, I'd like to go on. I'd like to join at some point. Either, either you can start it when we go live, like, and get you connected before we actually go live and have you on right when we come on, or I can switch in and out like we do with a lot of people. So, but again, I don't know if Thursday Thursdays is going to happen. It may not happen this week if... ECB gets pushed to Thursday, the in-depth interview. Depends on what happens with that. But if Thursday is open, obviously we'll continue with Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, so again, Zach, Gary V would be another guy that you would have to pay him. Like you're not you're not gonna get somebody like that to you're gonna be able to interview somebody like that for nothing on our on our level or on our scale it's just not going to happen fortunately just the way it is so we'll get some of that sherbert punch there mellow out again look for the stream highlights to pop i'm about ready to end this um appreciate all you guys joining bitg should be going live here what in the next half hour hour roughly so um and yeah i will see you tomorrow so again possibly be live at like two interviewing bcb which i'd rather us not i'd rather us push that to wednesday or thursday night like normal time and then i would be interviewing tomorrow night dent to mr friday the 13th so again dent make sure you give me bullet points and stuff so i can start looking over it so we can get ready for that interview because i think that's probably what's going to happen Striker is smarter than Gary. Striker is great, man. Striker is going to come on and do another one, like a full one. That was just like a. That was just a little sampler. So, yep. Appreciate you guys. So, again, we're about. On, we're closing in on close to an hour. I uh, appreciate all you guys joining. Again, happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Taking care of yours. Uh, keep doing it pushing it thank you for the great show today bud a great great rip i th no thank you guys for showing up man i appreciate y'all being here and hanging out to watch it um anyone see the espn article yesterday that had a tobacco card that's crazy sterling i did not i missed it so i'll have to check it out yep uh kevin just dropped bitg's link make sure you guys his twitter thing his giveaway that he's doing he's trying to push to 2k so again if you guys have not subbed him Make sure you guys do. I think he's at 1.7 something. He's not far away. Uh, but let's try to get him there. What's up, Peds? Hope you're doing well, brother. We're just getting ready to close the stream out. So where's BITG? When are you going live, brother? There's the bat right there. Try to get to 2K. Speaking of, yeah, when are you going live? Like a half hour? Hour? What? I'm about ready to kill this. What's up, Brad? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Just about getting ready to close out the stream for the night. Had some decent hits out of the retail rip I hodgepodge I did here. So I don't know. BITG is probably just the delay waiting on him to answer, but uh less than an hour. So less than an hour. Make sure you guys head over there and hang out. If you haven't already smashed that sub button, make sure you guys support him. Be there Wednesdays through Sundays. Right? So, all right. Shout out.
in my vid for 99 score bit. Nice. Shout out. So again, my 24-hour stream highlight video is done. If I can, if this format works, I just tried another one. If it works, I will get work on getting it uploaded either tonight or tomorrow. And then again, we'll either be in the afternoon. I'll try to post links like in Twitter and everything else. If if it is be if it is Buck City breaks at like two in the afternoon, doing in depth, or we'll have it at normal time six central with Dent, Mister Friday Thirteenth, and then we'll do BCB at a normal time. Wednesday or Thursday. So the rest should be the same. Tuesday we'll have an auction card sale. We'll crank it up. Uh, I think Dent already got that package out. So hopefully maybe even it gets here by Tuesday. That'd be sweet because he's sending a whole boat ton of stuff. So Tom, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, brother. See you pop in. We're just about to wrap it up here. So again, guys, nah, you're good, man. Yeah, you should be visiting a mom, man. That's That's way more important than a deafness stream. Um, especially Mother's Day. That's well, any day. Mom is more important than deafness. So, all right, guys. With that being said, go out there and spend some time with the moms. Give the moms a call if you haven't. And you know what? If you're somebody who has not talked to their mom for a while, this would be a perfect day to try to make that change and try to try to reconnect wherever the wherever the the mishap or the misconnect is or whatever may have happened. The the whatever grudge if there's someone out there holding a grudge with their mother or whatever this is a great day to try to bridge that and try to try to make things right how cool would it be if you and your mom hadn't been talking for a couple years or years and you took it upon yourself on a mother's day sunday to reach out and try to call and just try to even if even if there's not a lot there just call and say hey i just wanted to wish you a happy mother's day and i just want you to know i love you even if whatever See if you can make things right. So, and it, you don't have to be in any disputes or anything to go give your mom a call if you haven't called her already. But I hope you guys would have if you haven't by now. Otherwise, you guys need to show that love. Show that love. So, all right, guys. Love y'all. Uh, Rippin' will be live later tonight, too, right? This is their last night live, and then back Wednesday again. <laughs> So you got BITG shortly and then ripping later on. So, all right, Zach, again, shout out to you, man, for doing what you what you did. I'll get that uploaded as soon as I can figure that out to work. And uh, I appreciate it, Jim. Thank you, man. As well, from the moment we come, us the babies throughout the entire lifetime trying to get back in. Yep. Yes. Yep. And for some of us who have lost our mothers... I, I can't personally say I know what you're going through, but I feel for you. What I would probably say in that case is try to, on days like today, try to think back the memories that you had with your mother. Good times you guys had, right? Because, again, it's all about creating memories. It's all about doing that. So as you carry those memories forever, you don't carry any material thing with you forever. Very, very rarely do you do that your whole life. So, all right, guys. I love y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Be good, guys. Peace.